Hello and welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to make the return halbo, the uh, template for making it out of sheet metal. This is our return elbow here. It is a 76mm fitting. We have a seam here in the centre. We have a height from here to here of 30mm and from here to here also of 30mm. So let's move this model out of the way and this is the template that we're going to learn how to make. It's the uh, double for the return elbow, which technically speaking, it's two singles put together. So this is what we're going to learn how to make, and that will make our uh, return elbow. So let's move that out of the way and learn how to make this template. So first of all, we'll start off by drawing a baseline. I'm going to form a right angle. We'll open our dividers up to 38, which gives us our 76. And we'll pop back in the centre there and draw in an arc. Divide that up in the usual manner. Now we need to draw a line up 76mm just here. And just draw, join that up to our semicircle here. And now we send all these up to meet the line. Right, the next thing we need to do is draw in our baseline. So let's get that done. So draw a baseline. And we need to put in our division, in this case it was 30mm, so we'll just bring that down 30mm, like that. And draw in another baseline. Now we need to uh, draw in our construction lines. So we take our dividers and open it up to one of these positions here. We just check that. You see, absolutely perfect. So now we need to draw in 13 construction lines to give us our full round. That's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen, and we need to stand those up vertically. Let's get that done. to number these so we have one two three four five six and seven we're making a side opening pattern so we'd be starting here at position number four if you was making a throat opening pattern you'd start here at position number one if you was making a back opening pattern you'd start here at position number seven where you start on the pattern is where you'll find your opening so our number sequence is going to be four Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, and four. So that's all our lines numbered. So we're ready to begin. Not quite, we need to add on a bit of that. So we just measure out 20 mil. And draw in horizontal for the lap line. Now we're ready to begin. So we take our dividers and we mark in all positions number four. So we it up to number four. We're marking all fours. threes number twos Thank you. 
And now we go to position number five because number one's at zero, so it goes to position number five. Position six. Finally, position seven. So that's all our positions marked and plotted. All we need to do now is uh, join them up. So let's get that done. On the first one, just let that run out to the lap line. Same on the other side. So there we have it. That is our template for the first of our double elbows, the return elbow. You would uh, mark your rivet holes in along this line here at convenient spacing. If you use some dividers, I'm just going to put a dot on, but if you use your dividers and just mark them in wherever you like at convenient spaces, say a centimetre and a centimetre, and there's a big gain on this. If you keep your dividers set up and just put them on the edge, just mark in a centimetre and a centimetre and that will be absolutely perfect for uh, finishing. So all you need to do now is just cut this out. That, that's your template for your centre. If you put it on a piece of sheet metal and you allow 50 mil and 50 mil and just cut round it, you'll have all your components that you need to make your elbow. And when you put them through the slip roller and swage them, put them together with screws or rivets, this is what you'll end up with. So thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, thank you and goodbye.